Hey, what's up, guys? Today I'm going to show you some awesome things. The awesome things is I'm going to show you some portable applications that you can install to thumb drives. First off, I'm going to explain to you why you cannot use regular programs and just change the installation directory. So, the reason you can't do this is because most applications leave behind registries, which is known as um, files that keep encrypted um, passwords or whatever on the hard drive and what the reason this can be a problem is because people can install the same program again and they'll have access to your registries which will be like your passwords to different websites or whatever so like your email or whatever yeah so if you're doing this to use it at school it's best to use portable applications if you're just trying to do this like using it on one of your other computers and you don't want to reinstall all the programs go right ahead and use the regular installers but for like actual portable applications use the portable installer so you can get these by going to um, SourceForge it's a SourceForge webpage and then you'll go to portable apps then you go to files and then I'm going to show you how to install Mozilla Firefox as you can see I'm using Cam Studio and this is actually Cam Studio Portal so um, that's running straight off my thumb drive right now so now I'm going to go to Mozilla Firefox Portable Edition and then you can download after this comes up you can download any version you want I right now I'm just using an older version which is like 3.6 because I like 3.6 the most it's probably one of the most stable and it's really light compared to the newer fire versions of Firefox but the one I'm using at home is the newest edition just because it can be so I'm going to go back uh, to my downloads folder because I've already downloaded it go to downloads and um, go to the portable Mozilla Firefox installation thingy so Firefox Portable Legacy and it'll bring up a custom portableapps.com installer these are 100% legit so you don't have to worry about viruses or spyware or malware they are completely virus and bug free so after you're done doing that you will just change the uh, destination directory uh, to wherever you want I'm just going to put it on my thumb drive. And yes, my name's Chris, so if you want to, like, know my name, there's my name. Merry Christmas. Then after that, go install. And after it's done extracting, um, this also might take a while if you're going onto a USB 2 device because they're not as fast as the newer. SUSB devices, or also known as USB 3, those have fast transfer speeds. Right now, I'm just using a free thumb drive that I got at school, and it's awesome because it's a bracelet and you can carry it around with you. How awesome is that? Anyways, when this is done downloading, or not downloading, extracting to your thumb drive, all you have to do is go to the folder in which you extracted it, and there'll be a Firefox executable. You click it, and Firefox starts up. How amazing is that? Oh, look, it, it's finished. Now you close out, go close out of all this extra crap that you don't need. Because I can. And then I'll go to my thumb drive, my computer, Chris, the G disk. You go to program, that's where I extracted it. Firefox portable. Oh, wow, look at that, Firefox portable. Just click it. Bam. This little Firefox Portable Edition. After it's done, it takes a little time to start for the first time. And it actually might run a little bit slower since it's running off the thumb drive. Because if you didn't know, the portable editions of these will keep um, your registries on your thumb drive. So it's a good idea to clean out your registry and your cache and everything every once in a while. Especially if your thumb drive is a 2 gig like mine.
and it runs like normal Firefox. I can go to my website. Look at that, it's amazing. And these actually move at a slow pace. <laughs> Anyways, I'll go to my forum. Look at that. Now, one thing that you might experience with older versions of Firefox is the spam tag does not work very well. In this case, it does because this version of Firefox is just amazing. Anyways, um, thanks for watching. And if you have any more questions on how to install portable applications, please leave some comments and I'll make some more new videos. So, have an awesome day. And thank you.